All right. Now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms and data structures, basic JavaScript, iterate with JavaScript while loops. All right. So this one's really important. We're going to be using, uh, I mean, we don't really use while loops that much, but the concept of the loop is very important. So let's uh, get through this. Uh, so we can run the same code multiple times by using a loop. The first type of loop we will learn is called a while loop because it runs while a specified condition is true and stops once that condition is no longer true. So for example, we've got const our array, and this is going to be an empty array right here. And we're also going to let i equal zero. And in this case, i means index. Sometimes it means item. Sometimes it just means i. It doesn't really, it's just the, the thing we use most of the time when we're doing this stuff. So while i is less than five, we're going to say our array dot push i, and then we're going to say i plus plus, making it so first it's going to start at zero, right? And then it's going to go to, it's going to push zero into this array right here. And then it's going to say zero plus plus. So, so now it's one. So now it's one, which is less than five. And it'll push one into, uh, it'll push one into the array because now one equals, excuse me, now i equals one, right? Uh, and then it'll add another one in two, three, four. But once it gets to five, since five is not less than five, it's going to stop there and that's going to be it. So it's going to be an array of zero, one, two, three, four, just like that. So let's reiterate this. In the code example above, the while loop will execute five times and append the numbers zero through four to our array. So let's try getting a while loop to work by pushing values into an array. Uh, we're going to add numbers five through zero inclusive in descending order to my array using a while loop. So whenever you see inclusive like this, it means all the numbers. It means five all the way to zero, counting them all. All right. And sometimes like on this one, it's it would be like a zero to five uh, and it would just be not inclusive or whatever you would call it. And it would just be zero to four in in reality. All right. So let's do this. Uh, we got this over here. Let's say let i equal, what are we doing? Five through zero inclusive in descending order. So let i equal five. We're gonna start off with that. Then we're gonna say while i, oops, i is greater than or equal to zero since it's inclusive. We're going to have these curly braces right here and say my array dot push and then we're going to push i in there and then after that we'll say i minus minus so it's going to start with five and then it'll push five in there then it'll go four all the way to zero we could also say well let's let me prove this first before i go into any deeper stuff so let's say uh, console dot log like this my array all right so we see five four three two one zero like that we could also put something like this. We could get this one out of here and press uh, negative one, and it'll do pretty much the same thing, just like that, right? So let's run the test. Looks good and submit it. All right. Now we're on to iterate with JavaScript for loops, and we'll see you next time.